is NGL app really anonymous? Uh, so this is a viral app where you post uh, your link on Instagram stories and try to get some messages. And some of the people post you this message. And yeah, so if you see this from, from here, you are not really able to see who sent this. There are no hints, there are no buttons um, to, to identify. However, there is this button, so like who sent this? And the users of the app can unlock, and uh, but they can't see who sent this, they can just see hints. So what are these hints? These hints are very gen generalistic. You can see a lot of reviews that people are quite frustrated because hints are basically like, it can tell you something like the user on iPhone from this city, that's it. It's not telling any information regarding your Instagram username or any other information. So if someone posted this story on uh, Instagram or somewhere else and like 100 people seen it, there can be whoever possible, like who, who just sent this via iPhone. And that's what Hint uh, is suggesting. So just the phone model or just very general location like New York or something like that. So if you're sending the message and the, the user upgraded to Pro, it's not guaranteed that your message will be seen that you sent it. But for example, if you're on Instagram and uh, you replied via uh, like story which was sent to close friends, then, um, then it can be a bit more dangerous because, the, for example, if, for example, here's an gel link, uh, here's how it looks like, but the story can be shared uh, okay, so something like that. Um, so this story can be only uh, shared to close friends, which can be like 10 or 5 people. And from these 5 people, if the, the person upgrades, it can be more easy to identify that, for example, that you live in London, for example, and like only from these 5 people someone who is living there does that but if it's a public story and instagram account has a lot of followers it will be hard to, to identify that you have sent the message even with a pro subscription but again if on instagram it's a public story and they have like only 10 15 followers friends then it will be easier to identify so that's that um also in the story in uh, story analytics uh, it's usually uh, Instagram opens the data where it is possible to see uh, people who have checked out the story. So uh, if this data is public, so if you have seen the story, it can be possible that, yeah, uh, the person who tries to identify who sent the message on NGL will know that you have seen the story and they can see like exact number of people who have seen the story and then they can upgrade to Pro and know that you are using an iPhone and then like narrow down you. <laughs> I'm just sh sharing some thoughts like that if you are sending this message, can you be 100% proof that it's really, really anonymous? Like I would say it's pretty uh, possible to be like anonymous if you see that this is a public story and account has at least like uh, 30 plus followers, friends, and this story got some views. So that's basically that. Um, so it, it depends, obviously. But just upgrading to Pro Subscription won't, dis won't be able to discover your, your username. And there is no feature in the app that if you upgrade, it just says, hey, this username sent you this, so it's not possible. Uh, and you, you can always say, even if it's quite clear that you sent Maybe you can just say it wasn't me, it was some mistake or something. So there is no like direct <laughs> uh, confirmation that this was exactly you. But this is the exactly fun part of the app that is like really hard to identify in some cases. So that's what brings virality to this app, I think. So does that hopefully is helpful.